This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. So whatever this is, is small enough that it can damage one-third of the fresh waters on the earth. Now, some people think Comet Ison is Nibiru. Comet Ison is not Nibiru. Nibiru is the name of the Sumerian demon star god who in occultic lore was worshipped as he guarded the passage of death in the cosmos. This Nibiru is another name for Satan, the demon star god who guards the passage of eternal death. This is another name for Satan. This is occultic. Wormwood is too small to be Nibiru. If Nibiru is the sun of a solar system that is coming through our solar system, which is absolutely preposterous. It is too big to be wormwood. So Christians, don't try to rationalize Nibiru and make it wormwood. It is not. Nibiru is an occultic religion. It's not small enough to poison a third of the waters on Earth. If Nibiru careened into Earth, it would obliterate Earth and many of the other planets, if not all the other planets in our solar system. Nibiru is much too large to be one of the trumpets of Revelation 8. As a solar system, a star with a solar system, or a planet. If it careened into the Earth as one of the trumpets, it would simply obliterate Earth. The first three trumpets are small enough to strike rivers, streams of water, our ocean, selectively burn trees and grass, and one-third of the Earth, not to demolish the entire planet. Peace-loving Christians find themselves rationalizing Nibiru with prophecy to avoid striving with friends who are radically attached to the concept of Nibiru. Having been seduced into its fascination by the very star demon who originated its myth. That's right, Nibiru is a doctrine of demons, fathered and authored by Satan himself. Christians you need to come out of its lure. So Ison is not Nibiru, and Nibiru is not Wormwood, or any of the trumpets of Revelation. But could Ison be the fulfillment of not merely the fiery contents of the censer in heaven cast down on the earth just prior to the first trumpet? Could Ison's debris field and the asteroids and meteors. Ison has already sent helter-skelter throughout the solar system because of going through the asteroid belt. Actually be the fulfillment of the first three trumpets? I believe if Ison does not bring their fulfillment, another comet's debris will. I believe just as the actual Greek designation of what is translated as the star is aster, that asteroids, especially from deadly, toxic, gaseous comets, or even some small comets, will likely be the fulfillment of the first three trumpets of Revelation. A hit from an actual comet, with its vile, poisonous gases and chemicals like arsenic and cyanide, cinogen and diatonic carbon. These comets spewing gases and gas spewing asteroids can even change the color of water by their toxicity or an ensuing massive plume of red algae, smothering the water's oxygen and killing all the fish. Such a space body falling to earth 
could actually cause the ruin of ships with radioactivity. Worse than that of Fukushima as well, if we can fathom it, ruining even a third of all the ships on the water, so great will be the contamination. <laughs> to you, people of Israel. This is what the Lord says. Do not learn the ways of the nations, or be terrified by signs in the heavens, though the nations are terrified by them. No one is like you, Lord. You are great, and your name is mighty in power. Who should not fear you, King of the nations? This is your due. This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. Thank you for watching, and God bless you.